Welcome to Interactive UI in AL, not only from Microsoft. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, software is always evolving. Software is always, new things are happening, and Business Central, there's also lots of new stuff that's happening. One of the, well, how to put this in a uh, politically correct way. One of the uh, disappointing things is that a lot of the UI components that Microsoft right now are building for agents and the AI in general are kind of locked in for only them to use that I'm not really allowed to use it, uh, which is, is sad. I think Microsoft's rationale is that because stuff is moving so quickly, they want to uh, reserve the right to change stuff and if they open it up for us to use it then they're kind of locked into certain things and I totally get that but it's still disappointing anyway we're also working on stuff uh, in the uh, in the app channel and um, and we also need modern UI uh, we also need interactive UI uh, especially when it comes to working with, with, with AI and such and um, there isn't really stuff in, in AL that gives us the, that possibility without you know uh, expanding the uh, the borders of what's possible without uh, being creative. And I was in that situation in one of my apps, and I'll show you that in a second. But but here's the, actually the uh, the thing that helped me. And uh, for that, we need to go way, way back. And I just opened this source code here. Uh, so this is the tic-tac-toe game that we created here on the channel five years ago. Uh, so if you haven't seen this, this was a tic-tac-toe game written in AL. Um, and uh, lots of fun with that. But Kudos to Microsoft because I went in and I changed the uh, the launch JSON to hit whatever Docker engine I have now. We can see that this the app file is for version 17, so we're 10 versions behind. Runtime 6.0, but nonetheless, I hit a five. The thing deploy the compiles it deploys. Um, so, what is this? Well, you see, this is, looks like some sort of standard BC UI. Um, I click somewhere, stuff happens, right? I, I click on the X or, or I click on the square, and I I'm I'm apparently. Do you say X or do you say cross or? Is that the tick or the tack or the, I don't know. Um, so, so I have, haha, got you first try. Boom. Uh, but, but let's, let's see what is actually happening here because it, 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 it seems very intuitive, right? This clearly plays like, uh, and if you can hear the rain, that's just because it's pouring down here right now. Um, so I click and then pay attention. I click and there's a delay and then something happening. So how's that possible? Because that's not really uh, how AL works, right? You click and then stuff happening and then the UI is updated. If stuff's happening, it takes a long time, then the UI is not updating. But clearly here, UI is updating. See, that's the way to win. Uh, I think it's the weird engine here is close to as anyway. So let me show you how this works because this was kind of the idea for what I'm going to show you later. So the way this works is that we have the board and the board consists of surprisingly you can you can see the outline there there's not really much here there's an we got the area content area and there's a three groups and within a group there's a grid 
And then within the grid, there are three fields. And if we look what the fields are, those fields are blobs in a temporary uh, table. Um, and that's all there is. We can see that the blobs are strategically named something B1, B2, B3, uh, B4, B5, B6, and so on. And then we have a user control. And the user control is a, a one pixel thing. So it's just sitting somewhere. It's a one pixel thing. That's all that's happening. Um, and the user control has some events. So we have something called, called control click and we have something called timer ticked. Timer ticked. So if we look at control clicked, let's see if we can find that uh, here. No, not here. There. So apparently there's some JavaScript that will listen for a key. And, and then it will look at the composed path. So, so meaning that if we click somewhere here, there is the, the DOM uh, structure. And then it says that if somewhere there's actually a control name attribute uh, in the DOM structure, it will, it will say that, hey, on, somebody clicked on that control name. And the, the, the thing here says, ah, last click, user clicked. So there's probably a function here that will, will uh, uh, position and it will f get the, so it says B1. So it'll just take the, the digit next in the second position. Uh, that's all good. Um, but so you click, we put an X somewhere, easy enough, but then says that if we click somewhere, then we're going to start a timer. And if we go and look and see what the start timer does, um, we can see the start timer starts a timer. Set interval, that's the JavaScript way of starting a timer. And we want to call the timer tick function whenever the timer is, is triggered. Um, and the timer tick in JavaScript calls the timer tick event back here. So we can see that, so, so let's, if we change this to a second instead of half a second, now we're making the computer twice as smart, right? Because now it will think for a second instead of half a second. Uh, then we stop the timer. Uh, we could also have stopped the timer in, in the event. Um, and, and then, you know, because it doesn't really take that much computer power to calculate where to, to put uh, the the O, the, the zero, the uh, whatever it's called. Uh, so let's run this. So the idea is that we can use the UI. I don't know why this insists on being wide. So, oh, you see, now I was really thinking. Um, so we can use the UI to actually allow Business Central to update. Uh, we can use JavaScript timers to allow the, uh, the UI to update. Um, so that was five years ago. It was just a game. It was just for fun. Um, but here is, let me show you. I got this open somewhere. So here's my advanced portal designer uh, app. And the next version uh, that is coming out very soon has an agent functionality because you gotta have agents in your software now, right? Uh, and and this is a actually a surprisingly good agent. Uh, so I have found myself using this a lot lately. Um, anyway, quick commercial break. The Advanced Portal Designer is, is an app that it enables you to build portals for Business Central. Um, so I have a weird demo portal here and the, you know that's the statement page. So I click on my account, I, I get a statement. These are the customer ledger entries and, and there's a thing here. Uh, so in here, there's a statement uh, action somewhere. Duk, 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 duk. And the statement action has a, some some 
HTML-ish uh, templates, and we can see that it does something on, on the custom ledger entry table and this, yeah, this stuff. Anyway, so let me let me show you how this looks now, which I think it looks right. So, so comment on this because this is on not released software. So let me know if you think that I need to do something else or something. Anyway, I go into 18 mode. And and we uh, we have the agent on on the right, and we have what it what it's working on on the left. So right now there's nothing there, uh, and and I think this one is powered by I don't know what's powered by. Let's see, this is powered by Chat GPT right now, four point one, um, actually. So old stuff. Anyway, that's cheap and works. Um, the agent has some tools available to work with, with stuff here. Um, so uh, at the due date column to the statement page. Right, that, that's, that's a task. So he now stuff is happening. So it, it and it's happening fast, sorry. So it calls the list templates. We see that now it's working on them. So we got a list view over here to update, get the template, get fields. Uh, so clearly it looks for templates. It finds the template. It looks for fields in the custom ledger entry table. It saves the template. It compiles the action that is. So now we have, we see that stuff has been updated due to the column has been added to the statement page. This includes an additional column in table showing for each blah, blah, blah. We go back here. We hit a five. We got due date. So all of this could of course have happened in, uh, in, in a one shot at the due date and all this would happen the end result would be the same but the user experience would be lousy because now this was a fairly short operation but let's say you I, I wanted to do something and and where it needed to add multiple pages and edit multiple templates and, and do all sorts of things so it could take minutes right and instead of working on it uh, in 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 the middle we will get uh, we, we we actually get interaction here stuff is happening and this is the exact same um w w and we can ask it hey let's uh posting date due date move the due date after description let's see what happens move the due date after the description The due date is moved. Bingo. I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, so this is working the exact same way as the tic-tac-toe game is doing. All right. We got all the interaction working out. And, and you know, behind each of these boxes, you, even though nothing happened on this side, be, every time we have a tool call, that is AL code. So so. So the the agent here is running in AL and the tool calls are all AL and we're still updating the UI and we're using the, this is just tic-tac-toe all over again. Uh, let's see if I can find the, the code from here. Um, so I think I have agent development. It, we saw the tools available. So again, this is surprisingly, there is, what's here? There is 200 lines of code. By the way, this is really, you know, see my, my line numbers? There is a uh, setting somewhere where you can, you can have relative line numbers come from where your cursor is. You know, the, the thing where, where Business Central, uh, when you get a, a, a call stack and it's always relative line numbers within a function, it's really nice that, okay, now I set the cursor here and then I know line 17 in this function is is this but 
and this is actually the, the function that's in so ask agent AI uh, and you can see that we start the timer so we, we do something then we start the timer and the timer basically comes back at the, so there's no delay here there's no reason to add a the artificial tic tac toe delay uh, so if you go up here and find uh, where is it so the the timer tick function is still the same because that was probably copy pasted directly from tic tac toe at some point um, it just calls back into that function so the first time the the agent control, which is is this thing, uh, the first time that one calls, it calls into uh, the same function. It sets the timer, it loops right back out, uh, and uh, and just JavaScript back again straight away. But that's enough to trigger Business Central UI to be updated, um, and and we get that experience. Uh, uh, I changed my mind. Please remove the due date uh, column again. I changed to mine. Didn't I say my? Let's see. Save template. Compile. We're done. Refresh. Due date is out. So, I think that's very... Uh, reality is that we should probably get more uh, functionality from Microsoft in this area. They would turn around and say, hang on, Eric, you just showed us in a video that whatever we have built for you already gives you what you want, so there's no reason for us to do anything more. And uh, here we are. Uh, I, so I just shot myself in the foot. That's not a Mexican standoff, is it? I have no idea. Uh, anyway, I I I, th I think the let me know is is the user experience I just showed you in in uh, in the Paul Designer is that good enough? Is I I find it very interactive, a very uh, very usable, um, and and. Actually, bonus. So, so like, so whenever, whatever it touches in here, we get updated over here. So you have a a, a direct way to interact with it. So you can go in and say, ah, I'll, I'm gonna change this a bit, and then whatever you have done here is still known to the to the agent and so on. Um, so it, I I was doing working on a, on a different portal thing, and and I found myself instead of doing this the traditional way that I normally for years has been working with the Paul designer I was I was all agent here because it's it was actually working very well so I was sitting in business central in a fully agent agent d5 UI uh, and it actually worked so I guess I did shoot myself in the, self in the foot anyway there's even more ale hacking in this video I'm sure go check it out I'll see you there Take care. Bye.